A lot of people ask me, what is a veneer? Well, as a dentist, I took for granted that everybody knew what veneers were, so that was really quite a surprise. I'm Dr. David Shannon. I have a dental office in Northridge, California. I'm on Nordoff Street between Tampa and Reseda, and maybe I have an answer that'll help you understand what's going on in your mouth regarding veneers. Okay, so once upon a time when a person broke a tooth, they went to the dentist and got it fixed. It was just a repair job. They put what was called a crown on the tooth. They would grind, the dentist would grind the tooth way, way down, make lots of room for this artificial tooth that was going to fit over their root of their tooth. So they needed to take a lot of tooth off. The materials were bulky, they were old, they were crude, but they work because it's better than having a space in the front of your mouth or you can't chew on the back of your mouth, so have not having a tooth there. So they worked out. This is what was expected, this is what was accepted at the time. Well, as people have become more sophisticated and they wanted more things for themselves, they wanted it to be a better situation than that. They don't want to have their tooth ground down to nothing. You don't want to wait until there's nothing left of your tooth and then have something replaced. So they came up with a brand new concept. It's amazing. They've had it for years and years in so many other technologies. They just brought it to dentistry. Veneers. What is a veneer? It just means a thin layer. I mean, you could buy this cardboard wood paneling for your wall that was just a piece of cardboard, but they would put a very thin veneer of what looked like expensive wood on it. And they would nail it to the wall that you had. It would cover the holes, it would make it look good, but it was just a veneer. But it worked great because it looked like real wood. Well, that's a veneer for your mouth. It's just a thin, thin layer that looks like your tooth. But not just any tooth. It looks like the perfect tooth. So, if you want to make your teeth perfect, if you don't want to grind your teeth, dentists don't want to do that. They don't want to take healthy, good, solid, strong teeth and grind them down. We want to do a veneer. Now, a veneer is a veneer. You might have also heard of something called a lumineer. Ah, somebody's switching things around and confuse us even more. Well, lumineer is a veneer, but it's a very special type of veneer. It's made by one specific company who figured that somewhere out there, there are people that don't even want to have their own teeth ground down. Maybe you have a tiny little space between your two front teeth, and you want to close that space because yeah, you're just embarrassed. You don't like the way it looks when you smile. Maybe it just, you know, just, uh, just, you know, just makes you feel off. Well, you're not going to do anything about it because you don't want to have anything done to your teeth. Well, a lumineer is so thin that it's placed over your tooth and it doesn't look like it's any bulkiness to it. It's so thin that if you hold it up to the light, you can actually see through it. And that gets glued onto your tooth. And when that's glued on, it closes the space between your front teeth. But that's really one of the only times you can use that lumineer. Regular veneers can be used to straighten your teeth, to make them look straight without straightening them. It can make your teeth look longer. It can make your teeth look even. But when you do a veneer, some of the tooth, very little, but some of the tooth has to be removed. Because even with the regular veneer, it's going to make your tooth look a little bulky if you don't do some filing on the tooth. But it's very little, and usually no numbing is needed at all. So it's a huge improvement over the old crowns and caps of the old days. But it's not quite as new as the lumineer, which takes no drilling, which takes no filing, which takes no smoothing of the teeth at all. So, what category is your problem? What situation has to be done with your tooth? Every tooth is different. Every mouth is different. Nobody can really tell without seeing your mouth. So take the first step. Check out our videos that we have. Look at our website. Get an understanding of who you are and where your problem is and how it fits in. Call the number. Set up an appointment. We'll be more than happy to talk to you. Figure out what we can do. Give you the choices. You be in charge. It's your mouth. You take control. 
You decide what is it that you need, what is it that you want, what is it that we can provide for you as the person. So thank you very much for listening and I hope that you will see us soon.